Hello, I'm the Twit Gamer, and we're going to be doing a let's play of Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Now, obviously, this is an improved version of the original version that was on the Wii and then came out on the 3DS, I believe. So I'm very much looking forward to this because it's like it's... I've, I've come to appreciate Xenoblade a bit more after playing Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Oh, I love, I love the fact that the background changes there. It's lovely. So housekeeping in this regard, it's like I do remember bits of this story, like... The best way of putting it is, like, I know about seven. That's all I'm saying on that. Those who know, know exactly what I'm on about. I know about seven. And obviously I know about Hero Pond Ricky. Yes, of course, of course. Uh, what else is worth housekeeping? Obviously, if you do want to help support this channel, you can do. You can find me on Patreon. There's a link down in the description. What else? I don't know. Uh, check the options, I believe. So, what we got here... Uh, I don't really... Gradient correction. Set over the camera just when scanning a slope. Mm. Okay. Sound. Now, I want to go with the arranged for now. I've, I've often listened to the soundtrack for this game in the past. It's like, it's just... It's... It's, it's glorious. It's, it's, it's glorious. But I, I want to hear the arranged. I want to see what we get from this. Put some voice volume. I always have the voice as much as we can. In-game character voices. It's like, I'm assuming that's during battles. We'll see on that. We'll see in that because that's the cutscene one, so it's like, mm, we'll, we'll see. Jim, just keep that there. We'll keep that there for now. We'll, we might change that later. Notification setting. Hmm. We'll keep these fairly similar so far. Controls display button information in game, I suppose. All seems good. Brightness looks good to me. Game settings, vibration. Let's put that off, otherwise, it's going to be vibrating all over my desk, and I don't want that. I don't want that. Let's apply these settings, yes. And let's pretty much get into it. Let's let's get going. A new game, everyone. Ah, as a special bonus for having played Xenoblade Chronicles 2, you can start the game with 100,000 gold. You cannot collect this bonus after starting. I'm going to take it. I like that that's a thing. I didn't expect that. Thank you. Long ago, the world was nothing more than an endless sea, cloaked in a boundless sky, reaching as far as could possibly be imagined. Then two great titans came into existence. and the Maconis. were locked in a timeless battle. Until at last, only their lifeless corpses remained. Eons have passed. Now, our world, this vast land stretching across the remains of the Bionis, is under attack from a relentless force known as the Mechon. There 
advancing down our weak right flank. For a bunch of soulless machines, they seem to know a thing or two. But we'll see. Come on. We've been given the order to retreat. We're pulling back the line to Colony 6. That's where we'll set up the last line of defense. Yeah, that's a good idea. Any more time spent hanging around here, and we're done for. Count me in. We gotta get out of here. Or we can stay and fight. What? Ah! We uh. may die if we take a stand here, but staying gives us the chance to change our destinies. We have the Monado. With this, the future is ours for the taking. Stupid beast. Your body can't take any more of the Monado. I can tell by just looking at you. Getting short-sighted in your old age, Dixon. I'm fine. Don't worry, I'm still in control. Hmm. I should have known I couldn't talk sense into a beast. Let's do this. I'm going with you. You'll need someone to drag your corpse off. As long as you think you've still got the strength in you, old man. Oi, you two! We've been ordered to pull back! I'm leaving! Well, I say you're coming with us. What would we do without those? <sighs> The enemy's second wave is approaching! It's now or never, Dunban. Let's show them what we've got. We'll give them a warm Homs welcome. Acknowledged. Yeah. Huh. What are they trying to prove? I'm not throwing my life away. No point dying in some godforsaken field. Nothing for it. I'll have to use Dunban as a decoy. Yeah, that should give me time to escape. <laughs> Dunban? I thought his name was Duncan. Strange. Alright, so press L and R to target a monster. Monster? Player character? Okay, also worth pointing out, I will be at points in this game. I'll try and keep it separate from the actual story and stuff like that. Analyzing any changes that may have come about because of... No way of putting it. Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Like, and, like anything significant. Because there is one thing I noticed in one of the trailers that I think a lot of us noticed was a certain character's necklace. I guess the best way of putting it is like, and that might be significant to something. I'm not going to say what or anything in what regards, just warning you that might be a thing that's coming up, so there may be spoilers at times in future, but again, I'll try and compartmentalize that into sections away from the main story. So anyway, let's battle introduction. Left or R, or L or R. Target an enemy to display the battle palette. Select the fight icon and press A to start battle. Very, very similar to Zenblade Chronicles X, which I am currently playing as well. I tried to finish that in time for this, but the release date did not work in my favor. And battle introduction 3. Approach target to auto attack. If you're too far away from a monster, you can't attack. Oh, yeah. So stay, stay near it. I don't remember the animations in, the, in these scenes being so smooth in the original, but anyway. Select R to have left or right and press A to confirm. You can use an art in the following kind of circumstances. Hey, my throat's going dry already. You're out of range for this art. The conditions for using this art aren't met. Glad I've got my cup of tea on standby, because I just had a massive cough. Select from two different arts, so Monado and Chant, power up party members. Or Monado Buster, deal major damage to an enemy. Let's let's buff people up. Chant, right, so. Boom. It's like it's, it, it does it does if I recall have a similar issue problem. I don't know if you want to call it that. To Xenoblade Chronicles 2, where it's like it's slow at the start, isn't it? If I remember correctly. But then once you get loads of skills, it starts getting crazy. Shall I buff? Do I need the buff? I'm not looking at everything. We'll go with the buff. Okay, yeah, just looking at the like the new UI and stuff like that. It's it's getting it feels cleaner. And I like that. It's easier to notice stuff. Also helps with it being more a high resolution and all that type of stuff, doesn't it? Okay. I wonder if I could turn that off. I don't want it to target it weirdly like that. There's loads of options that I can play around with, though. 
Keep up battle commands. Engage at will. Focus attacks. Here it comes. I'm gonna get used to the combat again here. Hopefully it won't mess with me in Xenoblade Chronicles. X. I don't think it will though. Get it before it did. Oh, I was hoping to get it before it did that. You've got to be kidding. It's their main force. Looks like the Mechon are hell bent on taking us out. They'll have to be if they want to beat us. Now, let's even the odds a bit. You heard him. Dixon, Munka, let's do this. Ooh, that little lightning effect around the loading there. We have seen that somewhere else in Xenoblade. One year later. A Mechon M71. I bet I can use its optical system to align one of the anti-air batteries. Ah, oh, no good. It's broken. The joint section. It's buckled. <sighs> it's completely useless. Ugh. Huh? An M sixty nine. Its armor would be perfect for making a shield. If I can just get it off, I should be able to... Ah! Ah! Shulk! 
Right. It's not a mechon. It's just a crabble. It was using the mechon armor as a shell. I'll lure it away and topple it. When it's down, use your arts to finish it off. Ah, uh, yeah, it's right time. Okay, mechon wreckage, sir. That's what we got here. Oh, I was going to read that, but okay. HP gauge. When the HP gauge is depleted, the character will be incapacitated. Select an art from left or right and press the A button to confirm. Use backslash to deal damage. Restore HP with light heal. Oh, okay. That's pretty much what I was going to figure out at that point. Okay. Select tool will be healed. It's been so long since I've played this, I've got to relearn. But again, it, it does help with this. Very similar to Xenoblade Chronicles X. Very similar. Straight off. Select tool will be healed. Okay. Let's just get in there and attack them. Okay, you cannot choose the same art repeatedly. Cooldown begins, cannot be used. Ba, 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 ba. After a set amount of time, cooldown is complete. Art can now be used. Once the cooldown period is finished, you can use the art again. Yeah, again, very similar to Zenobity Chronicles X, so I feel familiar with it straight away again, so that's, that's good in some regard. Like I said, it's like similar in a way to um, Simply Chronicles 2 where it's slow at the start because you've not got all the arts, you've not all got all these things that are coming further down the line. But it, it will get faster. Using talents, each uh, character has a special art called a talent art. Select the talent art icon and press A to use it. Okay, to use talent art, so similar again, gauge has to fill up around it. There we go. Defeated enemies will drop treasure chests. Press A to open it and take the loot. <laughs> Something I'm very much looking forward to in some other regard, though. Oh, Alright, then the green ring stops you escaping. Okay. Defeat the monster to make the ring disappear. There's more? Where? Oh. Because <laughs> I didn't even see him. So he's just minding his own business. Huh? So why we, shouldn't, we don't even need to bother him. Like, why do we need to kill him? He's just there, relaxing, basking in the sun? Yeah. Beware of aggro during battle. Aggro is the measure of a monster's feelings of animosity towards each party member. The more damage that a monster takes from a party member, the greater the aggro towards that member. If a member of the party becomes the target of a monster's wrath, an aggro ring will appear around them. Hmm. Making the most of chance arts. Ah. Shulk's backslash deals more damage if, the, if he attacks from behind the monster. This is called the arts bonus effect. When you're in a position to gain an arts bonus effect, it'd be helpful Helpfully highlighted for you as a chance art. Yes, sure. Use the aggro rings to help find the best position. When an aggro ring appears around Rain, Shulk. I, I had to say that sort of like him. Um, here upon Ricky. Rain, Shulk has the chance to use backslash from the rear. If successful and the bonus effect condition is met, the damage value will be displayed in a poof. I mean, what would you call that? Poof. It's a poof. Okay, aggro. Right, 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 right. <laughs> right, there you see, and the damage was in a boot. I'm really feeling it. Nice one, Ryan. Thanks, Ryan. That was a close one. Man, what were you doing wandering off by yourself? Stay where I can keep an eye on you. It's pretty dangerous outside of the colony. There are all kinds of monsters. Yeah, but thanks to you, we got it, Shell. Everyone in the colony is going to be really happy. I'm more worried about you than the shell. Oh, whatever. Knowing what you're like, at least you'll make a decent weapon out of it. This scrap driver's excellent. I just learned by watching Dixon make weapons. Of course, Dunban's weapon still beats them all. The Monado. I hope I can figure out the secret of his power one day. You will, Shulk. Anyway, we better get back to the colony. If I'm late for drills again, old Square Tash is gonna kill me. Square Tash? Oh, the Defense Force Colonel. He's pretty scary. Tell me about it. Sorry, I didn't mean for you to come all the way out here during your break. Don't worry about it. Let's get back. Follow the dotted path to advance the story. The path to the next main story objective is displayed on the minimap. Guidance panel. Oh, the music. Colony I. You can switch uh, the minimap to full screen mode by pressing down on L. Press ZR to display the guidance panel in the bottom right of the screen, allowing you to check the story memo. 
interested are, while the guidance panel is open to close the story memo. Alright, use the right stick. Ah, that's standard stuff there in the system menu. Auto save feature. Auto save feature. You can review the tutorials at any time. Indicates an addition. Okay. Like this, this, that stuff is like, yeah, I don't feel like we need to read that stuff. Combat? Yeah. There you go. Phew. Take all of that. Good. Yes, as I was saying, like, there's sort of like a, a nice thing with this, because it's like, I wasn't enamored with this game when I first played it. Like, most people seem to be like, that's alright, I enjoyed my time with it, but I wasn't like, enthralled, like, this was amazing. Story, really good, don't get me wrong, the story was fantastic. But again, as I was saying when I was playing some Brick Coast 2, I found a new appreciation for this series. It's like, and I'm loving my time with Xenoblade Chronicles X at the moment, so... It's like... And this is perfectly timed to me. Sort of like, come back to this with... Sort of like a, a, a newfound... Feeling to it all. It's like... I feel like I'm gonna have more fun with it this time than I did the first time. Part of that is very much like experiencing with other people, like down in the comments and stuff like that. That's one of the reasons I enjoyed Zenblade Chronicles 2 so much, was discussing the story and the ideas and theories and that sort of stuff with people down below. It's just lovely. The latest addition to your collection can be registered in the Collectopedia. But in a row, we'll collect all the items in an area to receive a reward. I'll probably be doing that. And I'll probably be exploring areas very, very much, because I know people were a bit disappointed in my Xenoblade Chronicles 2 Let's Play, where I wasn't showing off all the exploring. I've corrected that in Xenoblade Chronicles X, and I want to do it here as well. Very much, we'll show off the exploring and stuff. Access the Collectopedia from the main menu. Well, uh, alright, we'll have a look at that then. Where? Oh, that's the system menu. There we go. There, okay. Collectopedia. I would have expected it to be there. What happened to the flower? Oh, is it that one? Ah, there we are. Cool potato. There we go. Lovely. One is never enough. Don't want to kill everything in our way. Just a few things here and there. Let's try to take out this flying thing, see what we can do. I want to mess around with the camera as an idea as well. Our health seems generally fine though, so we should be alright. No idea why I just pressed. Okay, so that's options here. Let's look at the camera. Radiant correction, camera zoom speed. So I can want the battle. One of them, that's slightly different. Casual casual mode? What's casual mode? Selecting this is enabled, combat will be easier. At least that's an option. I like they hide it in the sort of game. You have to get into the game before they do that. Uh, controls, mini mode, display, art, that's arts. I don't think there's an option to... Just adjust the camera when it targets. Camera pan speed? No. Resume speed. Hmm. Is that sort of like when you target something that's flying? It's like, whoop. It's like, I'm going to just change that slightly if I could. Again, too used to all the camera options in Blade Chronicles X. Because that had so many. It's lovely. It's lovely. Let's try this auto run. Oh, it's like, can I not move? Oh, so if I press forward, it, it changes. I just gotta be careful. So if I press left and right, it would have been fine, but. You can see the target down there where we're trying to get. I kinda like the pipes in this music. Like, just thinking, because again, I've listened to the soundtrack quite a bit. It's like. The change here is kind of nice. Here we are. I better stop in at HQ. You off to the weapon development lab? Yeah, when I've sold any parts I can't use. All right. See you later. Do those hips move? I, I will point out that, oh, change party equipment. Oh, we're fine, there's nothing much to change, is there? Visiting the shops, welcome. You can buy and sell anything here. Everything, every shopkeeper has a tent icon above their head. 
Selling loot. Make money by defeating monsters and selling your loot. Accepting quests. Press A to talk to anyone with an exclamation mark above the head completing the quest. They give to uh, give to receive money, XP or items. Trading. Press Y to trade with named individuals. Some of them will gladly take an item you don't need in exchange for a rare item. Okay, enjoy quests and trading alongside the story. The story will progress even if you don't do any trading or completing any quests. But using these features may give you an advantage in the game. Cool. I mean, one thing I will point out here. Look at the detail on this random bridge object. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's a reference, in case anyone's wondering what's going on there. Trying to learn stuff again. It's sort of like, I saw a green shiny thing in there. Hello. A wedding ring. Oh my. Yeah, there's a green shiny thing over there. Is it just a lamp? Just a lamp. Yeah, like the, the different icons, like the, the green dots and all that type of stuff on the map. Just paying attention to them, see if anything's changed there. We've got the exclamations, that's cool. So let's look at you first. Hello, dearie. Hello, dearie. Dearie me, my grandsons are having quite the altercation. And now, to get the upper hand, they are both in training. That doesn't sound good. Have you ever heard anything about uh, anything so ridiculous? I certainly haven't. I do hope the younger of the two wins, though. He is my flesh and blood, after all. That's why I'd like someone to take him the biscuits I've made. Might encourage him to train harder. That's one thing I will say. It's like it's nice to have a Xenoblade game where it's got British voice actors again. It's like it feels like home. No idea why. Hint: It's my accent. But anyway. Biscuits for a grandson, requested by Marcia. Take Marcia's biscuits to her grandson. Jurok. I guess Jurok is in the residential district, training to win a fight with his older brother. And get some swimming sandals from that. Okay. A few quests in the quest log. I'm most grateful. My legs aren't what they used to be, you see. Even getting to the residential district, it's awkward. I'll make you some biscuits. Oh, no problem. Leave it to me. I do love a good biscuit. Very much enjoying at the moment a certain skill in um, Xenoblade Chronicles X in my skill. It's uh, throwing an item being like, have a biscuit. I love that. I love that. Anyway, make sure my grandson gets those biscuits. All of them, preferably. Try not to eat the biscuits. Got it. View relationships with the affinity chart. And talking to named presidents of an area or town will register them on the affinity chart, which shows the relationships between party members and the residents. Hey, okay, cool. Let's pick up more quests, though. Is it you? It is you. Good day. Good day. My niece asked me to get her something cute. I just wish I was better at finding stuff like that. Will you help me? Oh, gladly. Colony 9 resident. A resident wants you to find something cute for his niece. Collect some collectibles. Okay, send some rabbit diodes. So, should be simple enough. Go kill some rabbits. Great, she'll be thrilled. Okay, I kind of want to go do that straight away, but like, nope. Pick up the other quest first. I think that's probably advisable. I'm trying, trying to remember how to jump. There we go. Like that button. What? Hello. Hello. Verdant blue cows on the beach near anti uh, battery one. Can't stand the sight of it. Nasty thing with those spiky horn bits. You'll take care of it, won't you? Now give it a go. Colony nine resident. Mm. Been asked to eliminate gigantic, yep, gigantic monster because it looks hard to defeat. Good. Hope it doesn't come too close to the anti-air battery itself. Feel I'll just think about it. Uh, never mind looking at it. Feel ill. Just yeah. Think I'll think. I think. Uh, you know. You know. Well. Oh, good gracious! You won't believe what a silly fool I am. I've lost something I really need. Will you help me find it? Is it a wedding ring? A key. No. A resident has lost a key and can't get back into her house. Find the lost key for her. I knew I'd get you all fired up if I did it. My damsel in distress act. But I am a fool, losing my door key. My fate is in your hands. Not a quest. It's a nopon. Not a nopon. It's a nopon. There's the anti air battery in case you're wondering what's going on with that and you don't know. These things here and there. Like, there, there's another one. 
Let's try to find the other one. It's like, there it is. Hi there. Oh, wait. There are some hand bunnets just outside the commercial district. It would be very dangerous if they got inside the colony. Could you go and deal with them? Defeat the monsters that are threatening the safety of Colony 9. Oh, thank you. I feel safer already. Okay, where's the request? Wait, did I do that? Wait. Hi there. Wait, why are you still... That was enough one. Oh, part two. Defeat the monsters that are threatening the safety of Colony 9. Oh, thank you. The kids need somewhere safe to play. Oh, all right. Hi there. Got attacked on my way to <laughs> Tefra Cave earlier. I think they were wood bandits. Bandits, even. I was on Tefra Hill at the time. You wouldn't mind sorting them out, right? I, I mean, of course. Wonderful. Next time I can feel more safe as I stride blindly into danger. You got another one? Hi there. You're that light ski. Yeah, all right. That like kill, kill stuff, all right. I knew you'd be up for it. Be careful now. Are you done? You're done. Like, how many quests? I don't remember him giving me so many. Hello. It's been years since I played this, though. Do you know where to find Vang Teeth? My grandma keeps on telling me that she needs two of them. They must be for her handicrafts. If you don't find them for me, I'll never hear the end of it. A resident's grandmother doesn't have enough materials for her embroidery. Not by collecting what she needs. Thanks a million. I don't know if getting them will be dangerous, but if so, be careful. Alright, so let's just have to just get around here. Just wondering, it's like... Yeah, there's more quests down there. So many quests to get. I think we should get these Colony 9 quests that we've got done first before we proceed on to anything else, even though there's a quest that takes place further down. Just go out and get these ones done. Is there a, like, a run run button? I've got the map. There you go, there's like exclamations on the map there. So what I want to do is like get these ones done. Ah, uh, you see loads of them appearing on the map now. Lovely. So if I, I auto run, like, like, yeah, cool. Don't have to do anything. But I will need to move. Okay, so let's get some combat going. I'm used, used to Xenoblade Chronicles X's distance of picking up things now. Okay, so let's head down here. Was there full damage? I can't remember. Yes. That answers that question for me. Oh, I was hoping I could get that in there quickly. Back from the side. I was hoping to get around the side, but no. I think I'm gonna have to wait on the combat stuff on turn. Where's my heal? Yes, right. Let's 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 run away. Sorry. Yeah, I need to pick up something. Definitely need to pick up something. I I feel. I can feel the power! If the leader is incapacitated, you will return to the previous landmark. When the leader's HP reaches zero or the leader falls from too great a height, the party will become incapacitated. We will return to the last landmark visited. I mean, I can't complain with uh, leveling up. Let's... let's go up that path. Like, th like there are some I can still do. It's just that case of, like, the combat ones I can't do yet, because... I'm probably going to need some certain things. I'm assuming the icons will actually be better for me as well. Yes, yeah, like, I need... Essentially, I need party members. How do I de-target? Just that, just press it again. Hold it down. Okay, look away. So, if, it's like if I'm looking at something, and then look away and press it, boom, it's gone. Let's go. Glad I figured out that very quickly. Residential district. God, it, fe it feels so different. Like there's more going on. It feels more alive and stuff. Just from the graphics alone. Yes, no. Yes, no. Where's my shiny treasure? I get sad if I don't look at it every day. 
I'd be really happy if you found it for me. Yeah. Rosin has lost something important that helps her sleep at night. Find the thing she lost. Thank you. I never leave residential districts, so we're out here somewhere. Please, you have to find my treasure. Well, we'll certainly look into it. Um, let's get over there. Oh, we can't jump high enough. Very well. Uh -huh. Which one's that one? If Rosin has asked for lost the key. Okay. Lovely. Problem solved. Chortry's not coming home. Speak to you. Well? I've been getting complaints from customers. Sorry to ask, but could you get me some kind of glowing rocks? I, I believe I could do that. Thank you. That should stop me getting any more complaints. Should be all right then. Well? Well? I used to see this book around all the time, but it's gone now. I would like to see it again. Could you catch it for me? Uh -huh. Really? Great. Thank you so much. You never know unless you ask. Well, there we go. Look at those two fighting. Terrible. Stop fighting, be friends. Yeah. It really just... Oh, all right, they come. It really just playing for them. Look like they think this place fun. And then the back. All right, I kind of want to jump off and go get that, but I'll die. It's like, oh, maybe I'll wait on that. Okay, so let's look at the map. Right, hmm, there's several exclamations for It's like that case of, I, f I feel as like if I want to get the quests out of the way, I'm going to need some more party members. So it's like, well, proceed forward a little bit just for now. Obviously, pick up these quests up here as well. Just thought maybe I could get those some just done a little bit. I need to do a cough again. It's not good that my voice is just dry at the moment, but anyway. Discovering landmarks. The colony features landmarks, important places and hidden areas, and locations, places of interest. Find all the landmarks and locations in an area to open up the complete area map. What the hell are you playing at? Uh-oh. The colonel's gonna explode. Crashing the mobile artillery into a house. How long have you been in the force? Sorry, sir. It's just that we were trying to go as fast as we could, like you ordered. But it's impossible to get back to the military district in only 40 seconds. I don't want any excuses. Champions don't whine. They win. Yes, sir. You're a disgrace to the uniform. Are you forgetting the shame you brought on this force during joint maneuvers with Colony 6? Stick your back into it, maggots! Move it! Yes, sir. Get the artillery back to the military district double time! Then I want a million press-ups from both of you, and you better not stop until your biceps explode! Colonel, we can't move the artillery. What? You better give a damn good reason why. Sir, the impact of the crash damaged the ether conduction cable. The ether fuel proceeded to leak out, and now the cylinder is empty. Well, change the cylinder then. Can't you even do something as simple as that? The auxiliary cylinders have all been used up. It'll be three days until more come in, sir. I told you to keep a stock of fuel in reserve. Sorry, sir. You're nothing but slackers! Same old Colonel. At this rate, the men will all be dead before they see any action. That is a hell of a mustache. All right, let's pick up these quests. What's up? What's up? There are some Lake Flemmy on the beach near Anti Air Battery 1. Could you take a couple of them out for me? We regularly exterminate the monsters around the batteries. It helps keep them safe. All right. It's a great help. I've been so busy with the other task lately. Be careful. All right, 
let's make sure we. Oh, you got another one. What's up? Right, is it like we get the idea? Like baby Amu. Yep. What's okay. up? Give me up. Give me. Give me. Give me. Stone crabbles. Right there we go. Right, where was the other one? Over there. What I'm thinking I'll do today in terms of people who regularly come to this channel is like, I'll use the slot for when we normally have the three day cycle to have a second Xenoblade Chronicles videos. Video? Video. 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 Today. I think that's what I'll do. I think it was meant to be Sona or Steinscape? Yes. But we'll, we'll push that a day back just so we can get this stuff. Do you know about Evil Ragosh? It's on Templar Hill. I've been ordered to kill it by myself. That's impossible for one person. Can't you go and do it for me? It's impossible for one person, can't you, who's by your lonesome, as one person go do it for me? What? Thank you. It's a really strong monster, so be careful. Oh yeah, I mean, I got destroyed by a little simple monster down below, so... I'm wondering if there's an item down here. It's that feeling. That sense. Oh, hello. I almost want to go watch, like, Chuka Conroy, is that how you say his name? Can't remember how to say his name now. And just see the differences, just remind myself of the differences between, like, what it used to look like and what it looks like now. I like the lighting, though. What's up? What's up? Some ridge and tolls have appeared outside the commercial district. Think you could go and take care of them for me? Yes. Nice one. You'll get more of the, them ridge and tolls around at night. It's not an easy job, but you should be able to handle it. Oh my god, there's more. Cute frog. That's a lot of quests. What's that? Colony Crabble. There we go. Make sure we pick up all these quests. Because what I may do is, like, get this last quest that's here. And then end this part. Wait, there's more quests that have appeared? Oh my god. There's so many quests. I forgot What's there were so many quests. Was it were this really this many quests before? Nick McDonough near Hmm. Such courage. There we go. Okay. So, yes, we are actually going to end this part here. Like I said, we will have a second part today. I'm gonna to try and get this part out as quickly as possible. You should know that if it's come out very early. And we'll oh it's going to night time. Oh, the lights are coming on. Night time! I'm just waiting for the music to change, by the way. That's lovely, isn't it? So relaxing. So soothing. But yes, that's us done for this part. We'll see you later in the next part as we head down here. Let's see what's going on down there, even though I know what's down there. But, you know, we'll see you in the next part. Ta-ta for now.